Full Sail, and welcome to my YouTube channel, The Husky Hair. And for those of you who are normally my YouTube watchers, welcome to my reflection video. I am currently enrolled at Full Sail University, chasing my graphic design degree on online courses. I decided to have this video crossover with YouTube because for me, this is where a bulk of my design work and effort go into, at least for now. Outside of my job creating advertisements for companies, I spend most of my time creating thumbnails, intros, outros, channel art, uh, slides for videos, such like that. So a lot of my work goes into this. This reflection video is for February's class, TEM, Technology in the Entertainment and Media Industries. Throughout the month, my fellow classmates and I completed various assignments with the goal of not just enhancing our knowledge of our chosen fields, but also being educated on others that can and most likely will play a part in our futures, industries that interact with each other, such as web design, graphic design, or even uh, game design and computer animation. We are now tasked with reflecting back on this month's work and what we've learned. Let's jump into the first topic. I've learned a lot about design throughout this class, especially in a field of work that I particularly enjoy, logo design. Design is ever-changing. It never stalls or waits. Trends rise and fall, and then rise again, mixed with a bit of nostalgia at a later time. It's easy to look back and see how design changed with history or how we look at what's trendy right now. What I learned is truly is truly how hard, if not impossible, to look and see where design is headed next. Uh, in one assignment, I spoke about where I myself think design is headed, especially with logos. I said that I believe uh, that images will play less of a role in logos as we move forward. Our instructor noted in our graded comments that a different student said the complete opposite, that images will play a larger role I said what I said because I look at what is happening with recent companies, uh, some smaller, such as LastPass, and uh, others as big as airlines, hockey teams, and TV shows. Uh, while there are some companies and entities uh, sticking with big images uh, to flow uh, their brand into your mind, to keep it safe there so you always remember them, um, I see... Uh, sites such as Brand New, uh, with their under consideration uh, section, showcasing a lot of companies um, hitching their brand on wordplay, uh, flat colors, less design. Uh, for an example, Alaskan Airlines. Uh, I believe it's just Alaska Airlines. Uh, they just recently changed their logo. What they had before was uh, Alaska and a really nice, like, stylish font, and underneath of it uh, it said Airlines, and just kind of like a plain flat. Uh, they change the logo uh, now with a, it still has a nice fancy font, but uh, it's a flatter color of blue, and all it says is Alaska. It doesn't even say airlines anymore. They're just hitching on the hope that it's Alaska. You know uh, the font, you know the color, we're an airline. That's an even more extreme example because there were no images to begin with. There were just words and wordplay. And Alaska Airlines felt it was best to change to even less wordplay. Um, and that really fits into why I feel design is truly headed in a direction like this because it's simple. And I believe design is headed in a simpler direction. I feel that way not because um, of the examples that I see on the internet but because it also aligns perfectly with my design philosophy. Success should be simple. Simple is success. That's how I tackle all my work, and so far it's been pretty helpful. While I have a love for creating logos, I learned throughout research in this class that I have a lot of love for many different design avenues. I want to have my hand in a lot of jars, so to say. 
With this class, I found myself tackling assignments and heading into uh, lynda.com and thanks to fellow student Kevin Hamrick, uh, codecademy.org, to venture into website coding for uh, web design. I want to fuse my love for design with uh, logos and, and things like that uh, with creating websites and uh, using my designs to make those websites look pretty awesome. This especially excites me because aside from YouTube and Full Sail and my day-to-day -day job, I also co-own a startup company with a good friend. We focus on online journalism and making that industry uh, more efficient and uh, easier to tackle for beginners and even uh, uh, and even experts uh, with our tools and uh, our services that we offer uh, with uh, products like OpenSuite and OpenFeed. Um, with web design, I would really be able to help us out even further uh, by offering web design to make uh, websites for our clients. And that's a very profitable uh, venture. I've seen my, my, my friend who I do this business with go through making designs for, uh, for some of our clients and he makes a pretty penny. So it'd be a nice thing to, uh, to get into along with uh, logo design. So I'm definitely looking forward to uh, venturing into more website coding. Uh, it's it's definitely something new for me, so it might take a little while. But that is definitely something that I've learned from this class that uh, I have a little bit of a passion for. And I've been uh, on CodeCademy.org a lot. Thanks, Kevin. I will stay the course that I outlined in our networking uh, assignment. I feel my Facebook page for Ron Hoffecker Designs, located at facebook.com slash ronhdesigns, is doing extremely well for hosting my work as a portfolio. It also allows me to interact with uh, fans and clients in what I feel is the easiest social medium to do so. Moving forward, however, I've been recommended to check out AIGA, and thankfully, we have a big presence there. Uh, for that are in, in Philadelphia, I will be looking into AIGA soon. Uh, since I'm also working on my skills with lynda.com and coacademy.org, I'm hoping to soon start applying for internships and networking through there as well. Lastly, I am hoping to soon jump onto fiverr.com and start taking professional work for logos and YouTube channel assets such as uh, channel art and thumbnails. If I had to recommend one thing to future TEM classes, it would have to regard delving into other industries. With a lot of your assignments in this class, you'll be asked to research and talk about your degree's industry. Do all you can to learn there, obviously. However, after that, you'll usually be asked to do the same exact work and effort, but for other industries that either echo or relate to yours. Do not shirk on this really delve into and research all of those industries because you may find inspiration, uh, a new side project, a new passion, and especially you'll find ways of collaborating with your fellow classmates of future classes. Learn about these other industries because there is a good chance that your future career will either meld with or cross with one or more of them. It's been crazy how fast this month's gone, but of course it is the shortest month of the year. Uh, TEM has been a really fun class, very uh, eye-opening for me, especially with uh, now that I'm learning how to code websites, something I didn't think that I would be doing. So it's been quite a ride. It's been a very fun first three months here at Full Sail, and I'm really looking forward to my next classes, but I definitely enjoyed this one. and I enjoyed uh, working alongside with all of you and our instructor. Some really cool assignments you guys did. Some really, really cool uh, work, especially with the, uh, the, the discussion boards, were some of the most entertaining that I've been a part of so far. Lots of really cool uh, stories to read about how you guys got to where you are now. Good luck in future classes, and I hope to see some of you again. And to my YouTube followers, thanks for, thanks for watching this uh, school reflection video here on the Husky. Enjoy. <laughs>